Hey everyone and welcome back to the studio. So today I'm going to do an open cup pour, but I'm going to do it through this toilet paper tube. Now I noticed that at the beginning of this pandemic that we're living through, that there was this rush on toilet paper. Well, I, being the wise person that I was, had already stocked up, but when it was time for me to actually replenish my stock, the only kinds of toilet paper that were left were not the kind that I usually buy. So I had to buy some off brand. So I have this toilet paper tube that is so substantial, I can't even crush it with my hands. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to use it as a pour through to do a, like an open cup pour. So let's try that today. Toilet paper tube, open cup. Pour. All right, so all the paints that I'm using today are ones that are pre-mixed, usually left on my counter. Um, they're all going to be a little bit runny because I want to pour them through a toilet paper tube. We're gonna use a black, black background today. Well, so I, let's get Before started. I get started with any of my paintings, I like to make sure I have sprayed the canvas back with water. And if there are dimples in it like this, I actually add some water to those corners and we'll let that soak in and dry a little bit. And I always add masking tape and push pins to the back the push pins elevate your painting so when things drip over you can wipe off the excess so it doesn't just keep running over the side and it also saves your table a little bit. I always put tape on the back because it catches the drips and it also catches resin drips. If I decide to resin put resin on my painting in the end then it will catch those drips too and then I can just pull that off and do less sanding to prepare my canvas for sale. All right, so let's get started with our paints. All right, so after I've checked to be sure that my canvas is level, I wanna make sure any excess water is off my canvas. And I'm using a very liquidy mixture today, just so it will flow through. And my background is pretty liquidy runs off my stick right away. Might make a slight mound, but not much disappearing right away. All of my paints are mixed with my favorite Floetrol mixture. You'll see that recipe toward the end of my video. I made it a separate slide so you can screenshot it or whatever you want to do. And let's go ahead and get going. Saving a little bit of the black just in case I want it. And I'm going to add my toilet paper cup or toilet paper holder. And then we're going to get started. So just going to, in any random order, pour some of my paints. And I have reds and I have golds. I have a light purple. No silicone in any of my paints. Filling up a little bit. Let me let some of it out. Okay, some of that paint's coming out. You'll see it pop up here in just a second. Oh, see it popping up? Now these are interesting colors, but these are some of the things that I had left.
beautiful. Let me put this, I'll just go ahead and put this on this. And I like to control that end, so I'm going to kind of swirl that a little bit. That looks much better. Interesting mix of colors. Very interesting. But I do have a lot of air bubbles everywhere. Now I'm going to add some black to the outside because I see these. this is actually rolling under and I don't really want that. This is just the same black that I started with. something in my paint right there there we go well there's a lot of paint so we are going to have to roll some of it off of here sadly so let's hitch it to this corner and bring some of it back go ahead and get rid of that corner and then we'll look at it see what we want to do with it next Let's, let it, let's move it away from that edge a little bit. It just keeps rolling over. Look at those colors. How, see how they have blended? Because I have poured it from on high. I'm going to go ahead and push some more paint off of this side. Try to keep that center, or at least part of it. So you see how much paint is rolling off? Now, do you see my streaks right there? That's what happens if you have a piece of paint or chunks of something that you need to get rid of before you start tilting. So if you don't see those, they will stick in place and then your paint will travel around them. Now, if that's a design you want to keep or you want, then you can do that. In fact, I've seen people do stuff like that on purpose with things like gems or whatever but if you don't want that you want to get rid of them before they make a problem so this is a final painting that i left just way too much painting paint on the canvas um, when it dried it has these cracks in the paint now that can happen uh, for a couple different reasons it could be there's too much air flowing in your studio the top layer is drying faster than the bottom or it could be that you have too much paint on your canvas and the bottom is staying wet while the top is drying so that's why you don't want to leave too much of your paint on your canvas I know you've probably seen artists out there and they're du they're dumping off paint and you're saying no stop well that that is why all right, so let me bring you in closer, and then I'll show you this as a dry painting tomorrow. All right, so let me bring you in. I did decide to blow through some of it, as you can see right through there. Um, I did decide to blow through it a little bit with my hose, just to give it a little bit more of the black in another layer, so it didn't just end with paint and then 
toward the end. So as you can see, because everything's liquidy, it's going to kind of melt in there and be a vein. So it will look different in the morning. It's going to all run back in there a little bit. So I will bring you back in the morning and add that to the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed this. This was a fun process.